often asked by people that have got a complete mini mod system, that's this top row up here, where to go next, what would be the logical next modules to add to their system. The most obvious choice would be modulation. The VCOs have an LFO mode, just like the VCOs on the original mini Moog. But the frequency range is quite limited without using external CV to extend it, which isn't particularly convenient. So a dedicated LFO module is a much more ideal solution. The dual LFO has two LFOs with both triangle and square wave outputs. The shape of both of these can be altered using the shape control. And so a triangle wave, for example, can be changed to a sawtooth or a ramp. And there's also a slow mode on the first LFO, so you can get incredibly slow modulation speeds. There's also a built-in VCA for CV signals, which is hardwired to the second LFO, but can also be used independently. This means it's a great LFO for things like pulse width modulation and for vibrato of pitch. With the built-in VCA, you could also use a mod controller to control the level of it or an envelope to gradually introduce it. You can also do this with the tap tempo voltage controlled LFO. This is a very different beast in that it's a single LFO, but it's got 16 different waveforms. It's a very powerful and feature rich module, so I'd recommend looking at the user guide to get an idea of the different functions that it can perform. But in addition to having the normal repeating wave shapes, it also has two random waves, which are very much like sample and hold. This makes it great for a huge range of modulation uses. Another option is creating a second voice, essentially another simple monophonic synthesizer, by adding just two or three modules. At the very minimum, the contour generators can focus as two separate envelope generators. So by adding a second filter and VCA, one of the VCOs can be sent to this filter, and then the two envelopes can be triggered independently to control both the VCAs, or even with multiples, both the VCAs and both the filters. As a result, you've then got two separate synthesizers with their own audio chains that can be played or sequenced separately. A way of improving that even further would be by adding the Ring SM. So let's say on one voice you had two VCOs going into the ladder filter. That will be the equivalent of most mono synths, which tend to be two VCOs. The mini mode was really an exception of having three. The third VCO could then go to the Ring SM. In addition to being a mixer and a ring modulator, this has two sub bass generators. This voice would be more along the lines of something like the SH101 and many other small mono synths of its day that only had a single VCO but used sub bass generators to thicken up the sound. Except here you can add both minus one and minus two sub basses simultaneously. The output of this would then go into the second filter which would give you two big sound in mono synths in just one case. But the Ring SM also has a ring modulator. And the filter here is the Sonic XV, which also has a wave folding feature. This would make it possible to create two very distinctly different synthesizer sounds within one system. Or by using all of these modules as part of one single synthesizer would give you an absolutely huge range of sounds. Also, if you added the muting mixer to serve as a second VCA instead of the cascaded VCA, you've then got another module with its own set of unique functions and with the mutes you can basically use this like the mixer on an original mini moog. You could put all your sound sources into this and then just switch them on and off as and when you need them. It also has a built-in distortion function and it can also be used to mix CV signals as well as audio. Mm -hmm.